Ooh. Heck, okay. Annie, normally you come up with the song. Yeah, I was going to say we should do Africa by Toto. How does that I go? I really know the words. Well, we, well, we were going to say the words full send anyway. We just oh, okay. Okay. Like, oh, okay. Well, like, I hit it down. <laughs> so I sing too high for Annie. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one's hard. <laughs> What's that like easy song? Like who? 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 Like Greatest Showman. It's beginning to look a lot like Full Friday. Full Friday. Full Friday. Oh my gosh! Didn't we do that one with like Harrison or something? No, not Harrison, no, but like Casey. We did something. We did rocking around. No, we didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> So let's all just, let's think of a song. Take five seconds. Think of Folsom any song. Friday to you. <laughs> Folsom Friday. Okay, never mind. Never mind. No. Let's do it. Folsom Friday to you. Folsom Friday. Folsom Friday. Folsom Friday. Folsom Friday to you. Okay, okay that's All right, good. let's just, like, speak this started. Let's full send it. Okay. 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 This all is right. the worst part. You just gotta plug your ears part. for this. Oh yeah, you haven't heard. You no, haven't, I haven't, you even haven't, you to haven't this heard thing. our intro. Know what's up our intro, that. our <laughs> intro was such a bad idea. No, we were. I love it so much. Yeah, I know you do, but okay, you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Annie, and I'm Emily, and, and we're, we're your masters, masters of send. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. It's charming and okay. fun. It like makes me it's, cringe every time. It's charming. okay, guys. We are so excited. Thank you for tuning in again to Full Send Friday. Um, we have one of the bomb diggities in the house. One of the Manchester United <laughs> soccer players. <laughs> Jacob Gasper. <laughs> Say hi. Oh, hey. Hi. <laughs> Jacob's the sad. one who sounds like a boy. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So sometimes it's hard to tell. Yeah. So Just... Jacob and Annie are from the same town. Hashtag oh. strawberry, hashtag point. <laughs> hashtag strawberry, <laughs> hashtag point. Jacob, what was Just it a like? backstory. How long? Well, Okay, go ahead. I was going to say about the strawberry point thing. One time I posted a picture. I don't even know what. I think I was just in Manchester, maybe. No, no, no. Jacob was in it. It was like you and Jacob and like two other girls or something like that. Anyway. We were at the strawberry? No. No. See, we were just, it was just a picture of people from Manchester, I guess. At least you and Jacob. Okay. And she like was going to comment hashtag Manchester. But she like couldn't I remember just, how to spell it. Like it like, sounds like wait, an easy. Was it our? Uh, our it wasn't our quick photo start. shoot at Quick Start. No, no. it wasn't. No, I it was like it. before that. But like anyway, so you like weren't sure if you were spelling it right, so you just said hashtag <laughs> strawberry point, which isn't the same. It's close. Very like, yes, I like grew up like there. geographically. It's close. Yeah. Dude, Dude, Jacob, I don't know. What's what your middle name? Is. Matthew with one T. Whoa. Like, <laughs> Why? Yeah. Well, my dad's name is Matthew, but he with wanted two? This with, year? with two. But mm-hmm. then he wanted to give me that name, but he wanted to like be different, so he gave it one T. It's kind of extra, but Matt who? Matt Matthew. 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 Yeah. You have to say it with the accent. That's so I just cool. Choose not to. Yeah. Do you have siblings? I do. I have a younger sister. Her name's Michaela, or Macadity Seven, as she yes. prefers. Macadity Seven is well without the number, but you know. Amazing. Yeah. And you are studying adult, yeah, architecture. Yes, architecture. And that's a five-year program? Five years, yeah. How do you feel about that? I, I feel okay with that because it's like delaying adulthood, you know? I mean, mm-hmm. like, longer school, True. but delaying adulthood, you know? Do you... Um, and it's And it's also, like, what I want to do. So, I mean, like, if that's how long it takes, like, I'm okay with that. That's cool. What's yeah. the, like, what's the dream to do as, like, a job? Mm-hmm. Well, I would want to live in Chicago, I think, because there's, like, a lot more... Op- you can be an architect, like, in smaller towns, or, like, even Des Moines is, like, a little bit larger. But I like the idea of going to Chicago and, like, working on larger projects. And then sure. also there, there's a lot more, like, design projects, like, outside of building buildings, like, designing, like, public spaces or, like, art for public spaces or just getting involved with, like, designing other things. Hmm. So I think that's exciting. Why Chicago? Why Chicago? Why not? Aren't there a lot of other large cities that don't have terrible toll roads? (laughs) Slash the highest crime rate in America. (coughs) Really? Chirac, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Well, Chirac, yeah. Okay. Well. No. I mean, like, yeah, there's probably other better places, but I just really like Chicago. Oh, you just like Chicago. I just I didn't know if it was, like, really, like, the architecture hub. Oh, no, 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 it's not. No, no. Do you have, like... Kind of when you decide whether or not you like a place, would you first of all, would you consider yourself somewhat well traveled in the United States? Yes. Okay. So when you decide that you like a place, mm-hmm. what like falls into the requirements for you liking a place? Right. Um, I don't think that like 
I don't always think it's about the exact place that I'm in. I mean, like, I love the beach and, like, warm places. So, I mean, if it has a beach, like, I'm probably going to like that place. Okay. But places like Chicago or, like, um, like Portland, Oregon or something, usually I like those places because I've had, like, good memories there. Like, mm. people. So, I mean, that memory just, like, makes the place what it is, I guess, for me. It's so weird. Yeah. Okay, I kind of want to talk about van life because I've been thinking about okay. it a lot okay. recently. Yeah, you um, know. Hi, babe. But I don't like the idea of van life. For you? Contrary to... Or for anyone. I was going to say, I feel like you would, yes. though. Mm-hmm. No, but... I, okay, so... I was journaling the other day. By the other day, I mean actually today. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just kind of like... The other minute. <laughs> I don't know why. I, like, say things and I catch myself. I'm like, you just lied, Emily. And then I have to... Then sense. catch myself, you know, I'm like, idiot. But... And I was just kind of jotting down what I've learned about myself. And I said that I love roots. Like, people are like, Emily, you travel a lot. And I'm like, no, I just go to see my friends. Like, I'm not actually, like, I love places. But they really, if I'm not, now, some people are way different. Some people can, like, solo travel. And it can be really fulfilling in the whole hustle and bustle of, like, trying to figure out, um, navigate, like, mm-hmm. places that they don't know is really fun for them and empowering even. For me, it's, like exhausting. I feel like I'm wasting my time. I feel drained. I'll even get scared sometimes. Mm-hmm. I mean, granted, I do go places by myself to see people I know, but that's completely different. Um, <clears throat> no, I love being put and getting deep there. And so I don't know. So what are your, like, I guess I, this is kind of like an abrupt question, but I just mm-hmm. made me think about it. But like w- you said that, um, Places are like memories. Mm -hmm. And so like what is like kind of like a lab uh, or extending on that thought, like what what makes places, I guess. I'm not I'm just like asking the same question that just was asked, but I just want to talk more about it or like maybe the moving around or the travel in general. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, like what like what are places to me? Yeah, those special places. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Like what would make you like want to go to Chicago over Portland? (laughs) Because, right. I mean, because like, if you like them both, right. Is that what you're asking? I don't actually think I have a question. Okay. No, no, that's I mean, no. Talk. I think no. Yeah. I think like I know the realm like where you're talking sure. about. I just like want to know like what direction to travel in. If you okay, want. maybe this is a better question. Why do we care so much about memories? What are like why? Right. Like, okay, the gift of being able to remember is actually ginormous, and we never recognize it. Hardly ever. Mm -hmm. So why do you think memories are play such a... I think they completely... Like, there was this thing that we're like, if people visit a campus when it's raining, like, sometimes they're less likely to go there. Right, Mm -hmm. because it paints a negative picture. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Yeah, I think... I think they're so important because, like... Especially, like, positive memories, you know? I feel like negative ones are almost stronger than positive ones sometimes. But, like, Mm -hmm. positive ones, like, every year my family goes to Panama City Beach, Florida. And Mm -hmm. we've, like, done that for, like, 11 or 12 years now. Sure. And, like, is Panama City Beach, Florida really that special compared to a few other places I've been? Probably not. But I've been there every single year since I was, like, 10. And so just, like, even, like... It feels almost homey. Right, right. Mm -hmm. We know, like, the grocery store. Like, I could tell... Like, I could go there by myself and, like, go pick out where the bread is. But it's not my home, though. We've just been there so many times. And I think it's just that... I don't know. There's something (laughs) weird about it. So do you... Do you like that familiarity? Or if your family's, like... Well, do you want to go to Panama City Beach? Or do you want to go to, um... Portland, Maine? No, right. Would you, like, be like, oh, let's try something new? Or would you be like... Oh, I'm, but I'm, like, I'm always up for, like, something new. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. This maybe doesn't relate, but, like, when I was younger, like, I would always, like, rearrange my room. Like, I was, mm-hmm. I'm always yeah. really, I really like change and thinking yeah. about That's what, unique. what, like, the possibilities are. Like, like, I don't know. Like, it annoyed my parents so much because I would, like, be sitting in the living room and I'd want to, like, change it, like, yeah. all the time. I'd just be thinking, constantly thinking about how things could just be different. It's probably good yeah, or do you think that's why... I like, you like prob- probably, like subconsciously. Yeah. So, so I'm there's, constantly thinking about there's this that. quote by um, some famous person that says, like, art is never um, finished, it's only ever abandoned. Mm-hmm. So, do you feel that in like a painful way that just kind of oh, like 100%. every time you see something, you're like, you could change it every 100%. single time? 100%. Even, even if <clears throat> changing it makes it worse, it's it's still change. You know what I mean? That's like, it can interesting. Still, it can still move in a direction, even from from that moment. Like, do, you like, it is. do you like to reflect on change in your own life? Yes. Are you kind of like a, a romantic about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, buddy. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Huh. Why? 
I'm trying to Oh, think going of... back, that kind of made, reminded me of something. But, like, going going to these places over and over and over again mm-hmm. is kind of interesting, tying back to that change concept. Like, yeah, seeing yourself go to this place one year older, mm-hmm. like, one year smarter, maybe. It's different. Like, one year taller. Or like, yeah. you know what I mean? Oh You're my different. Gosh, and it's right. just so, yes. so interesting being like, oh, I've stood, like... I stood in this elevator in this like so condo complex that, like, since I was ten. Like, do you think that anything can really ever be like familiar? Because you're always changing, you know. Or it's, pla- our places are. It's changing. so like, weird. There's because there are some things that are very constant. Like I was thinking about this the other day because so I've worked in Wisconsin for the last three summers, and I've driven. It's like a five. I drive past Manchester every single time. <laughs> every single time I go, I've probably driven there like 20 times just be working fall trips and stuff mm-hmm. like that and I was telling my friend I was like there's something so fun about driving somewhere that's like five hours away and not having to plug in like a GPS like you just know mm-hmm. and all the turns all the weird back roads all the like 100 miles here take this exit like you just know it mm-hmm. and it's so weird because when you go to places like I notice that every time I come there I will see like the ghost of myself from like yeah. and not like figuratively or literally yeah. but mm-hmm. like in this way that I'm just like, oh, I remember when I, like, fell off this ledge and gashed my knee open and now I have this scar from it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Again, it's, mem- memories. It's so yeah. weird, though, that, like, it can feel simultaneously so changed and so normal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you ever feel like you, this is kind of just when you're talking about, like, the ghost of yourself, but do you ever feel like, I don't know how to word this, like, you almost live more of your life, like, in your head. Than you actually do like in real life, like thinking of memories. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. or like thinking ahead. And, and you're think... never like, not that you're not present. No, but, but I you're just think... like always. I feel like imagining. as you get older, like you maybe become less and less present because you're mm-hmm. carrying so much more of your life with you as yeah. you go along. Uh, like I I don't you're... know. I haven't thought about this recently, but like I thought about this a long time ago, and I just was like, um, what's it like? What um, nostalgia. Yeah, nostalgia is so heavy. Yeah, so, so heavy. heavy. And like, as you get older and you do so many more things, that nostalgia just becomes more and yeah. more and more until probably like you're 80. And that's why like maybe they're okay with sitting around all day is because mm-hmm. they're just thinking about yeah. stuff that they did their whole life. Like, right. Or maybe it just hurts. Like, like nostalgia is almost like physical. I feel like I like feel it. Yeah. Okay. This makes me think. Oh, so one of my favorite... Um, Bible verses is Ecclesiastes 7.10 or 10.7. I always forget because I always forget. And it's about the contrast between wisdom and folly. And it says, say not why were the past days better than these, for it's not of wisdom that you ask this. So basically it's saying, like, stop saying, like, why isn't today great? Mm -hmm. And stop, like, or why was then better? And I have been thinking about that a lot recently because I'm so, like, I have this fear that I will almost give out all of my love by like 24 Mm. like I'm just like because you just love and then you ache and then you leave Mm -hmm. and like there's so much change constantly happening Mm -hmm. that your heart is like I've noticed that I try to I separate so much of my life like I'll throw like experiences all over the place and then it doesn't like live in a straight single line even though Mm -hmm. I'm just one line like I'm just one person and I have to like grab them and be like no experiences Mm -hmm. I don't know it's so fascinating to me (laughs) what's interesting I was talking about this the other day, like, when I think about, so we've lived, like, 20-ish years. We're all, like, about 20. We've, like, lived only 20 years of life, and when you think about it, like, the thought of the future, I'm like, okay, like, maybe I'll graduate, get married, start a family, but then it's like, that'll all happen maybe, like, like who knows, but, like, 10 years. <laughs> Hopefully. <Yeah. laughs> no, um, like, <laughs> No, like, say, like, about 10 years, so, like, when you're 30, and then say most people are, quote-unquote, settled down by the time they're 30, and then it just makes me think, like, what do I do then? Live vicariously through my kids, retire and die? Right. But then it's, like, when when I think about, like, when I was zero, not that I thought about, oh, what am I going to be like when I'm 20? But, like, the thought of, like, becoming 20, I was like, oh, what, I'm going to go to high school, go to college? so boring but I've never felt like oh this is just so like mundane and this is I'm just going through the motions like Like, there's always something like Like, Like, I'm always like 
everything that's happening is always a big deal at the time. And so, like, mm-hmm. when I'm 46, sounds like such a boring age, and maybe I will be technically, like... I'm going to turn when I'm 46. What? The coolest 46-year-old. Yeah, well, speak you can for have yourself. Cool pants when you speak for yourself. <laughs> 46-year-old. My mom is 42. <laughs> Holy. Oh, wait, that's... Wait. <clears throat> that's young. Yeah. It's a spring chicken. A spring chicken. Okay. What? <laughs> Is that a what, does that even, <laughs> what does that even mean? That just means that she's young. young. Oh. Like those chickens. Chick. That wasn't like a disapproval okay. That was more of like a, oh, it what looked is that? Oh, if I, I thought I said something inappropriate and I didn't oh, know it. No. Like, <laughs> I would say something like, inappropriate before you. <laughs> you in one of our podcasts, I remember. Oh, I said, uh, Don't when say Harrison was on for the first time, I was like, it's a, it's a threesome. Okay. <laughs> and then I was like, ah. <laughs> Wow. You left it in too. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm authentically Annie. <laughs> hey 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 hey. Oh anyway. but no, yeah, like things at the moment matter when, when so you much. When you think about the future, like I don't know, I'm super like think about like in the next like. You guys are both few four. years. Yeah. Heck yeah. What are you? I'm Eight? a seven. You're Every seven. day's a snow day. Am I right? Oh, that's what your Instagram bio is about. Uh huh. Oh. Oh, you stuck my Instagram. Oh, heck yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, like, like 20 years. I, I feel like I've lived 20 years. You know like, what I mean? Like, like I'm never like, whoa, it's it was, like when people so, are... it was just boring and I just like, oh, I went to high school. But like, when I was in high school, I was like, whoa, oh my gosh, prom. Like, oh my <laughs> gosh, I have to like make the varsity show choir, like. Like Everything you, was, like, huge. Like, you felt every yeah. moment, kind of. and that's how I am now, and that's how I'll always be. Mm-hmm. But, like, when I think about it in the past or the future, I'm just like, what? Hmm. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, that do just kind of th- happened. Mm-hmm. Jacob, do you think that there are things that we can do to practice our presence, being present, mm-hmm. and to preserve... Or to, so how I kind of explain it is I feel like the brevity of life is, like, written on my bones. Like, that's how I've just always felt, like, this really, like, I get really sad when semesters end, even though I don't like it when they begin, because I realize that I'm never going to be in this weird mm-hmm. combination of people with yes. this professor yeah. writing these stupid mm-hmm. in-class assignments. Oh, totally. And it, it honestly, I yeah. left class today because I'm done after today, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, my heart kind of hurts. Right. And I cried senior Same year when I walked year. out the door and I got made fun of for doing it because everyone's like, screw high school. I was like, no, I loved it. I loved yeah. every minute of it. So what, do you think that there are, do you think that, because we're living in a generation right now where people are claiming that we are disconnected, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Why is it specifically because of technology? But, or have you ever practiced ways? I'm going to ask you seven questions at once. That's okay. Do mm-hmm. you have, <laughs> this is the question I want to ask. Okay. Okay. I just talk around myself. No, you're good. Do you have... A memory that one you would love to just go back to, just because it felt so everything, and two you just felt as present as you possibly could be. It's kind of a hard question to answer, right? Especially on the <clears throat> spot. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't text him that early. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Um, I guess. Okay, yeah, I do. Um. So, sophomore year of high school. Sophomore year. Good yep. year. Um, me, and, me and Annie were in show choir. WD Forte. Uh, super yeah, amazing. Did we ever tell the audience that you guys were... Not directly, anyway. No, me and Annie are BFFs. Yeah, actually. Except when I, like, disappear for two yeah. months at a time. But I still am like, he's saying my best to me. No. I haven't oh, seen him in a while. <laughs> then no, I'm, but like... <laughs> then I'm like, I mean, I don't know. No, yeah. I, mean, I don't know that's, what he's up that's to. That's my fault, not your fault. Um, okay. <clears throat> that's a different discussion. Um, yeah. Sophomore year of high school, um, our show choir did, like, I don't know, this show. And I just remember at one of the competitions, we were were tap dancing. And first of all, I love tap dancing. It sounds super stupid, (laughs) but it's so so amazing. It's so awesome. We learned it, like, just for this show choir thing. So, like, I'd never really tap danced beforehand. So it's just, like, something just brand new and exciting. And I just remember just, like, and then it was, like, the finale. And I just remember, like, I don't know, it was just... Yeah. Amazing. We were just at this competition. I just remember this moment and I was like thinking about it. I was just like, frick. Like, yeah. this is like it. It sounds really dumb maybe, but just like, it was just so exciting. And I was just like, 
there. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know. But another moment that I would feel that way is on like <clears throat> any time that like I go on trips, like with mm-hmm. my family or just travel really anywhere. Like I just always try and like have this moment. You know those moments where like you're somewhere or you're doing something or you're with somebody or a certain amount of people and you just like want to look at it longer. Yes, so and you're you trying to take like, yourself out of the it. Outside. You just like or you, or you so you, yeah. you can, like grab it, mm-hmm. like put it in your pocket and you're like no, I want to remember this. Mm-hmm. Like I have to remember this. And like yeah. Yeah. I think it's so fun when you have forgotten and then the weird combination of people that you're with um at the time, you get back together with them, and someone says something, and then people start feeding off each other, and then slowly all the pieces of that moment come back together, and it's like this intimate magic that only the mm-hmm. few of you guys can... I feel you... like that's what happens with me, like... Annie, and some of like our hometown friends. Yeah. Like, oh, and it's we'll one get of together, the funnest. And yeah. we'll just be like, oh, remember this person did you... this thing yeah. at this It's time. like living like... in nostalgia. You wrote something about <clears throat> it once for all of us. Listen, I don't know why I said us. The listeners out there. Jacob's creative. Um... Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, you wrote something. Okay, I was stalking you on Instagram one day. Yeah, fair. I don't know why more people don't just go up and say it. Like, everyone stalks Dude, everyone on Instagram. Right. I, everyone totally freaking, does. People say recently it. started texting me when I've been in their dreams, and I'm like, thank you. Like, finally, thank someone you. is, like, yeah. letting me know because I've been letting <laughs> everyone else know. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, I was stalking you on Instagram once, and you had this. Okay, so this fun fact about me. Mm-hmm. I will determine whether or not, in my personal mind, whether or not, specifically speaking of words, if I think it's good writing, it's always when it causes me to want to write something that's similar but not the same. Okay. So, like, I've read full-on poetry books and never felt like writing anything of my own, but I've also read poetry books that I've just like, oh, that reminds me. Yeah. And I'm like, good what words. Mm-hmm. So you wrote something that made me want to write something. Okay. And I don't know. You're probably going to remember this better than I am, but I don't know how far it was. Well, I remember okay. every single one of my Instagram posts. Okay. It's like hardcore. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> um, you said something about how pictures never... Do you know where I'm going? Kind of around the concept of... Because I'm not going to quote you word for word because I don't remember, but you said something about how... Um, oh, the ocean doesn't just show up at your doorstep? Oh, okay. Or that's like that's that. the post I thought you were going to talk about. Yeah. It's like... Yeah, like you, you have to, you have to go to these places. You have yes. to like go to experience these moments. Like you, they can't be shipped to your door, yes. like or whatever. And uh, I've this, this, one. <laughs> and it's yeah. such a good. No, I've you actually saved it. I've actually, <laughs> I've actually Skinny. thought about it and written kind of about it a couple of times because I think mm-hmm. about the idea that no matter how advanced technology gets, it's never going to ever feel like it is to actually be there. Right. Or, like, no matter how creative and how talented the models are, no one can ever pose a photo that looks youthful and and magic, just straight magic. Right. Like you can if you're actually a part of it. Right. And I think, yeah, and I think that's why travel is now very trendy, or I feel mm-hmm. like it's very trendy. Or people yes. that do, they're like, oh, my goodness, like, yeah. what are you doing? You know, like, they're just, it's exciting. Number one, I think, because there's more of a platform to post about it. Mm-hmm. It's like Instagram. You can easily yep. be like, mm, I'm in this place, you know. Yep. But then also, just, like, things can just easily be looked up now and things like that. And things are yes. so easily, like, brought to us that now it's almost, like, harder to mm-hmm. actually have to go to that place. Yeah. It's almost like, it's, like, it means more because, like, not everybody can experience going to London. Like, you have to go to London to experience London, and not everybody yes. can do that. Mm-hmm. And if you have the chance to be able to do that, like, that's something important, because it's difficult. Mm-hmm. Diffi- I, I think I said, like, difficulty creates meaning. Like, yes. you know, because you have to actually, like, you have to pack, you have to get up, you have to pay $600 to mm-hmm. get over there, you have to buy food, you have to figure out the road system. Like, yeah. It's difficult. Yeah, yeah, I could look up a picture of Big Ben, but, like... yeah. It's not the same. I don't know. Well, like, why? Sometimes I think that. I'm like, I was looking at this person who has been to so many places on Instagram. And I'm like, why do they go? Like, why is that Hmm. so much better? Like, why are you just traveling all the time? I I feel like a lot of people just don't. They do it. I think some people do it for Instagram. Oh, yeah, totally. Well, I'm just like. Whipping Nene's back to 
the van life thing that I've been thinking of. The aesthetic of van life is actually very good. It's really on point for branding these days. Yeah. And I almost, I get the whatever of it, but why it's not attractive to me is because it doesn't have roots. Like, you don't get to pour into a community of people mm-hmm. unless you're pouring into your van community who is just like, mm-hmm. so you spoke of Oregon, Portland. Mm-hmm. I absolutely hated Eugene because you, in Eugene, Oregon, people are just like walking around barefoot, like painting. It's like hippie central. Mm-hmm. And they just look like they don't want to do anything but sit on the side of the road and paint. Oh, yeah, in we, Portland, you, you told me about this. Did yeah. we talk about how in Portland people are just like actually kind of trying? To, I mean, it's a yeah. little bit different, mm-hmm. but they are like trying to pursue things. Right. And I cannot stand the idea oh. of not yeah like when I like not pursuing something. Yeah. Something. Oh my like, goodness. My whole yeah. entire life. Yeah. You oh, know what I mean? Goodness. Like I don't want to ever be complacent or content. And I like. I don't, it That's gets, the most important thing anybody's it ever said. Grinds, yeah. Honestly, it like, has, I know. Like, grinds that's my, my core. Gear. Like, yes, there are things that I really love. And I, I will read posts of people and I'm just like, you freaking idiot. Like, I could guarantee you that there are some days that I feel so much more alive sitting in a coffee shop, talking to my friends, ignoring our homework because we're having fun, creative conversation where we're spurring each other on than I do climbing mountains. Yeah. Granted, I'm a big mountain girl, so I love the mountains. But there are some times where I'm just like, hmm, that wasn't actually that fun. Right. You know? Yeah. Like, but then you feel bad. Do you ever, like, do something that you think should be fun and you're like, I didn't like that? Oh, and you spend a lot of money doing it? Or you're just like, I'm, am I, like, dumb? Am I, am do you, I? Do you have an example? If you don't. Just I'm almost, just like, a lot of times just, like, when I travel. Travel is hard like, to be actually fun. Yeah, like, if, no, I, like, love traveling, but sometimes when I do something, I'm like, it, it wasn't fun. Like, I was like, I can't think of an example. That's okay. But, like, like well, initially but, you thought going into it that it was going to be fun right. or something, like, worth sharing, yeah. maybe. Yeah, which I think not. that's actually probably my own problem, now that I think about it. Because I, I don't just, know. I just hype things up I so ex- much. I yeah. pretty much but I always don't, disappoint. I don't even think, I don't even yeah. think that you can... Like, I've learned that sometimes things that I do are really not fun at all because sometimes it's the people that I'm with, sometimes mm-hmm. it's the things that we're doing. And, like, sure, that is kind of, like, attitude on my part, but it's also, like, you just should be with more people that are compatible with you. Mm-hmm. Or or even... Do something different. Or even going into this situation or whatever with expectations. Right. Yeah. And that's, expectations. That's, with, that's with any moment. That's with yes. any person. That's yeah. with any idea is going into it with preconceived a preconceived notion of, like, yeah. how it should, you know, unfold mm-hmm. or turn out. And, Which like, is, when that one thing doesn't happen, it's, like, it's like heartbreaking. so disappointing. Like, Even yeah. when the new thing that happened that you didn't account for could be so much better yeah. and more yeah. exciting it's for you. It's still disappointing, though. It's still disappointing because mm-hmm. you you didn't foresee that or you didn't yeah. want that. Right, that wasn't what it. you had planned. I love it when yeah. you have, like, really high expectations and you're like, ah, I really shouldn't have these high expectations. But and then, then like, you, you do then anyway. they're like... You, then, like, you get there, and it's, like, way better. Yeah. Oh, it's like, ah, oh, See, I don't, so like, fun. have that happen. Because my expectations are always so high. I've never really been, like, that exceeded my expectations, like, ever. I just don't think wow. you've done anything that has the capabilities of exceeding your expectations yet. But, like, I guess it's all relative to each person. Yeah. Oh, my gosh! Another thing I like to talk about is a life well lived is relative. Oh, Let's talk yeah. about this. Okay. What do you have thoughts on that? Can say a few words about it first. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try to limit myself to words because you just saw how excited I am. Oh, well, just a I small think, preface. So, for some people, okay. a life well lived could look to others super mundane. Okay, yeah. Right. I so guess you, that's kind of it. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I, like, I agree. Like, there is no one life well lived. So, like, somebody's life well lived could be like, oh, I'm eventually going to be the CEO of a company and I actually did something, you know? But, like, somebody's I did something could be a seventh grade math teacher mm-hmm. and, like, you know, Or hiking minds, Kilimanjaro, or, being an Olympic athlete. Right, or like, being, like, a janitor. Right. Could be, like, your calling. And yes. And you can, like, love it. You can really thrive. Right. I love the idea of being secretly incredible. I think everyone's I, incredible. What do you I mean? agree yes. with that. I, yeah. Like, That's what you're saying. <clears throat> I don't like... Okay, yeah, I don't like people who are incredible and they know it. If that, like, makes any sense. I don't know if that's, like, rude of me to say, but people are in architecture, I guess. Just, like, people who maybe know that they're very 
talented at said architecture or said thing or presenting or somebody else that's you know knows they're really good at singing or something like that mm-hmm. and then they know it to a point that like it's not special anymore yeah because they know it there's something like really beautiful about the innocence of being incredible like yes i've always thought about like i was like if i was someone that was going to make some sign if i was going to significantly change the world And we're talking, like, scientific discoveries, J.K. Rowling, you know, like, all these people who have significantly impacted the world. I was like, if that happens, I don't want anyone to know it was me. Mm -hmm. I, like, love the idea of being, like, a little secret. Like, just with me. But the other thing is, like, I feel like people shouldn't be ashamed to share their talents. No. No. Yeah. But, like, you can very very subtly be... No, but I think think you can be, like, proud of your... Like, you should be. Like, 100% should be Mm -hmm. for, like, you know, who you are as a person and, like, mental health and, like, confidence Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But... There's, there's isn't a point. There a, there's a point. I think it's a hard balance. Cause like, oh, 100%. So, like, I'm trying to think. Okay. I like to sing. What time is it? Now what time? Uh, 6.27. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go home before the thing. Keep talking. Anyway. So, like, okay, I like to sing. Yeah, you do. And, like, I'm not a, like, high peak singer. But, like, I was talking about this with my other friend who likes to sing. And we're like... Why are we so, like, scared and embarrassed to post a video of ourselves singing? It's because we don't want people to think that we're, like, bragging. But also, it's, like, a gift. Hmm. Like, I think it's a gift. And, like, people who are gifted at art post pictures of their drawings because that's their gift. And they're, like, passionate about it. People who are gifted in, like, it's hard to think of things that aren't art. Like, yeah. even speaking. Art. Public speaking. Yeah, public speaking. speaking in general. Like, jokes. Ma- right, yeah, making jokes. jokes. Like, they do, may do stand-up comedy, and they should if they're passionate and they're good at it, and it's their gift. Right. But I so, think... like, why are we sometimes, like... Because I'm sure people who are good at comedy are like, oh, I can't go to stand-up comedy because people are going to think that I think I'm funny. Right. <laughs> but though, with those people, though, you can tell people that, like, know they're good but aren't cocky about it. Like, you can feel yeah. it. You right. can feel like they're... Aura, if you will, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you can totally tell if somebody's doing something just because they're like, well, nobody's gonna laugh unless I'm in the room, so yeah, I, yeah. I control the situation. Or yes, something. you can, or you can tell when somebody like knows they're funny and like uses it, but they're not like aggressive. What do you? Okay, Jacob. So specifically speaking to you, what mm-hmm. do you think you're good at? What do we? I and what think? do you? Okay, three questions. Okay. What do you think you're good at? What do you like about yourself? Oh, wow. And what do you foresee yourself becoming better at? Okay. And none of them can be the same thing. Okay. So for first question, what do I think I'm good at? Yes. Um, I think I'm good at listening to people. Oh, yes, you are. Yeah. And remembering. And re- sometimes. Um, <laughs> no, I think no. I've... Yeah, I don't want to sound pretentious, but I think... Hey, I, hey, I, hey, I, we literally I just talked about that. No, I... Okay. I, I really value... It like, always goes like, I'm like, yelling at you. <laughs> the lines were like, <laughs> I really value deep conversations, and I think surface level conversations are really dumb and ridiculous. Even though they're like needed at points, you can't talk about the world every second. Well, you can, but but like, I really value what people have to say because I know that I don't have all the answers. I know that I can't do everything, and I'm not capable without other people. Like, mm. I would be literally nothing. Like, literally, not like nothing I've done in my entire life, I just did. Hmm. Not because I'm lazy, not because I depend on other people, but I think because, like, it's impossible to do something without you, without other people. <laughs> and, like, the only, re- the only way you can do that, and because I believe in that, like, I listen to people. And, like, hmm. I don't know. And I just want, I would want somebody to listen to me. So I think that's another yes. reason. But, yeah, that's, I would say I'm good at that. Okay, what do you like about yourself? What do I like about myself? I'm really passionate. Um, why do you think you like that about yourself? Why do I think I like that about myself? I don't know why I'm repeating the question. Um, <laughs> it's a good thing to do yeah. in interviews. Because it, it allows me to work hard at the things that I love. Because hmm. I don't think I could do anything that I've done without the drive of me being passionate. Mm-hmm. Like, And I think that it's going to take me somewhere that I really would like to go, you know, like passion. And I think doing things, like you could work really hard at something and not have any passion. And like, you can 
it might be good, but like like I was talking about, you can feel when people are like ingenuine or something. Like yeah. you can feel when something has passion, or you can feel when something doesn't have passion. Yep. And like, I think just like my capability, like I become passionate about like literally anything that I get involved in. Like there's really not a realm or a certain area. Like I really wasn't passionate about architecture until I did it, and now I'm doing it, and I'm overly passionate about it. It's like you're passionate like, about the things that you're passionate about in a simple right, way. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I just. I like how that allows me to do the things that I've been able to do. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 And then what do you think that you will be good at or you're eventually going to? What are you developing a skill in right now? Right. I think um, knowing where um, the line. so, So going along with like hard work and like passion and things, knowing where the line is that I need to stop because right now I don't know that line. And so, like, with architecture, it's very easy for me to let it be, like, a runaway train for me to stay up all week to finish something. And, like, you know, things that maybe aren't necessary for the assignment or for the project, but big drawings that I want to make bigger because I'm just excited about it. And I want, mm. You know, and things like that. Like, it's not needed, but I want it. Like, because I'm just passionate about it and I love it, and I just need to know when to stop. Yeah. Because other things are important. Like... Yeah. I'm also passionate about people, but, like, I haven't seen Annie in a month. You know, like, yeah. or, like, my roommate Harrison and Josh right now. Like, I I haven't seen them for, like, a couple weeks either, and I live with them. It's, mm-hmm. like, yes, I'm passionate about this, and I'm doing good, doing well, and I'm, like, doing things, but, like, also there, there are other things. So passion, like, makes me blind, and I only mm-hmm. see that yeah, one thing. Yeah, it's like blinders, yeah. like right. a little horse. Dip, 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 dip. Right. Yeah. And I think that's just, like, really dangerous, and it can get very out of hand. And it has gotten out of hand. So I think I need to learn, yeah, just, like, where that line is. Hmm. Yeah. And, like, I've only become aware of that this semester. Because, like, the previous semesters, you know, like, it's always encouraged. Like, get, do your best. Put in the most time. Like, all mm-hmm. this stuff. And, like, this semester is just very, very taxing on a lot of levels. And, like, I just don't want that to happen again. So now I need to like act on that. Mm. So, yeah. I always like to tell myself that people are just more important. It's so weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't. I'm the same as you. I feel. I retweet. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah. Um, Yeah. Look at those little cute little. Oh, I'm so obnoxious. (laughs) Um. (laughs) Okay. Since. Um, okay, full send story. Yeah, since this is since we've talked about pretty much the same thing for the whole <laughs> podcast. It was good though. Oh, uh, I honestly love yeah. this kind of conversation. Same. And you should have it again. You, you should. should. Honestly, though, let's just hang Tonight out after salt. Yeah. I'm so sad that you're leaving. Tonight after salt. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I talked to Abby Hartzler. Let's do something. Let's do something after salt. Yeah. Speaking of... I actually have a lab to do from no. school, so... See, people. Yeah, people I know. But I'm not passionate about it. Like, I have to do it. To do it at midnight, like... <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, do we'll it. be after midnight. We'll help you do it, and then we can help Okay. Uh, okay. Anyway. Okay, so, Jacob, we need a full... full se- Jacob Matu. <laughs> Matu. <laughs> Guess <laughs> first. <laughs> a full sense story. Full sense story? It doesn't have to be, like... I climbed Mount Everest with a broken leg. Shoot, <laughs> like, well, I haven't done that. Well, I think climbing Mount life. Everest would be neat, though. That's on my list. Yeah. Do you know it's $60,000? <laughs> so I'll take it off my list. <laughs> so it's off my list. You my don't friend... realize something like that costs money until you yeah. look it up. I like, thought, oh, yeah. You well, you have to. And you're like, nah, I had a friend that climbed oh. Kilimanjaro, and she also climbed Jeez. Cotopaxi this last year. Yeah, that's really cool. And those, I mean, Kilimanjaro cost her 2000 She climbed during the year, but she did that without a guide. Wow. She led, led it, and I was kind of like, Tracy. Tracy, <laughs> But she survived. She, like, invited me, and I was like, you know, I don't think so. Ooh. Okay, so I have to say no. Anyway. Okay. Full send story. A full send story. You have such a good voice for radio. Oh, oh yeah. thank you. You have a good Continue. voice for being a book. Um, for being a book? For, okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was... that's a whole other thing. <laughs> I just think about that every time you speak. Yeah, quick side story. Short, short story. My senior year of the musical, I in the musical, literally, I was never a big part because I was scared Your to sing in front of year. people. And you'd so been my committed senior year, to the and I'd been committed to the program. Like I was starting to sing in front of people. I was like, "Dang it, I'm gonna do this." Like I don't really care anymore. Full send, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what I get? Senior year of musical, book voice. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> 
I literally stood off the side of the stage and read like a book. <laughs> What musical was it? How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. Don't go see it. Don't go see it. No. <laughs> it's trash. That, was the, that was the worst time. Some of the worst times of my life. I was a book voice. Like, I was an inanimate object in yeah. my high school musical scene. No, and the you best didn't have to part. Wear makeup. The no. best part. And sorry to make this long. No. You were like, you had to miss rehearsal one time, and you told our director, like, I, I can't be here, but it's okay. Like, I'm not really that big of a deal. And she's like, yeah, no, she was like, Jacob, no, Jacob, you're you are so integral vital. to that. And I was like, okay, like, like oh, you can take my minds out and the thing would still happen. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would know the difference. Like, there would be an awkward pause where there was supposed to be words and then it'd continue. Yeah. <laughs> like, anyway, that is that was, so funny. Like, Your name in my like phone that is would, book to yeah, this day. Yeah, like, like so something funny. like that would happen to me, like 100%. Anyway. anyway sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Um, um, I don't know. Like, I guess the first thing that comes to my mind, I feel like I don't full send it very often, but, um, in October, I went to California, like, for the weekend, because kind of, like, the opportunity ar- arose. That's a fancy word. But, like, my cousin... <laughs> I was handing you a rose. Not oh, a fist bump, but you was, can, okay. now it's a... <laughs> um, oh, a rose. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my cousin plays oh. soccer for, like, like, college soccer in Arizona, and... I was like, I wanted to surprise her. So, like, she didn't know I was coming. And uh, one of their games was in California. So, like, the tickets were, like, super cheap. So, I was just like, like, why? I don't know. Like, yeah, why the heck not? And, like, I don't know. Something like that really wasn't a big deal to me. Because people, I don't know, people were just like, oh, my gosh. You, like, went to California, like, only for the weekend? But, like, to me, it was just, like, really casual. I don't know. It was just, like, like, not a big deal to me. It wasn't just for the weekend for you. It was to surprise your cousin. It was to be with family. It was right, right. to get a little bit of a break. Like, there's people are so stupid all the time. I yeah. said that to you. But I was a student. I was like, I'm in California. <laughs> yeah, Annie always judges me. Not true. Okay. I was excited. I was like, heck yeah, he went to but, yeah. California. But, yeah, that, that would be my thing. Yeah. What's Do you have advice? any send advice? Any send for all advice? of the, like... Little amateur you know, rookie just senders. Like, you just it? like gotta go for it. And then, no, that's, <laughs> yeah. um, that's a joke. Um, but it's true. But it's true though. It's a true joke. Um, I don't know. I just think so often that we, um, I don't know, we get like trapped inside of our heads and like overthinking things. And like this doesn't have to be related to travel. We've talked about travel this whole time. But just like getting trapped inside of our heads of like, oh, what will people think? Or like, you know, like, what what will happen at the end? But, like, you know, most things that we, like, worry about, like, don't really matter. You know, or no don't end really up happening. No one really cares. You know, right, right. We're or, so like, like Annie was over. saying, like, that can be taken, like, Annie earlier was saying that, like, things, like, in the moment, things are so important. And that can yep. be, like, a positive thing. But also, like, when you leave that moment, when you leave that moment behind, exactly, that moment was only mattered then. You know yep. what I mean? So I think... Just, like, going for it. Yeah, just, like, go for it. You know, but, like, <laughs> honestly, it's super cliche, but, like, it's cliche for a reason. Because it's true. You're the only person that lives your life. Yeah. No one else is living it. Right, right. right. So, like, like you, write whatever you want to so write. like, go do it. Bloody. Like, yeah, go. My favorite thing is, you said it last week, you were like, Big Sur is a real place. Get in your van, honey. Or something yeah, like, like, gas yeah. up your van. We were talking about a different quote that I read once. Heck, Big Sur is a place that I'm trying to go. I was trying to talk my mom into taking me there the other day. Yeah. This was fun. This was this fun. Was I love Thank you for about, having me. Thank you this for being good. on the Full Send Friday podcast. Yeah, this was a good it's, episode. It's we're, been a pleasure. We're so excited. Okay, well, thanks for listening. Yeah, yeah thank thanks you. For, thanks for coming. For Ooh, wahoo! <laughs> <laughs>